the first ships we have here is a ship that we got in exactly the same position uh, right uh, early in the season, I think it was like back in May or June, and it's uh, Frontenac. And she's uh, back again at the wharf, this very old wharf here in uh, Port Coburn, uh, making a delivery. Members working hard here, going through the hatches. Now, the reason why I started here, and I'm not going to show you that much of the ship because we already have it, is that <laughs> the identical ship is just down here uh, in the port, uh, which I got some drone shots before I got on the water with the sun on the other side. So, we're going to go down there and I'm going to show you who's down here. You're going to like this one. Two classics in a row. did the last video on this particular ship a lot of people in the comments were like were blowing me away by saying this is their favorite ship and you know what I can see why it's absolutely a stunning vessel uh, with a lot of history behind it uh, but we've got two of these in the harbor at the same time sorry I should say in the port she's down here let's go and find her Another beauty of a vessel, uh, CSL's uh, Tadoussac, uh, just sitting here. So that means something pumped into our pump tank, could be the sewage tank now, I'm not too sure. They don't look like fuel trucks. Uh, so it looks like they could be cleaning stuff out of her. Well, let's have a good look at this vessel. Like I said, I got the drone up earlier on when I came down here with the car before I launched in the water. Because the sun being over here made, it, uh, made a nice backlit shot, which, sorry, the sun being over here made a nice shot from the other side looking onto the, uh, the main street of Port Coburn. One of the first things I noticed about this vessel when I pulled up to it was she's dirty. Very, very dirty. I actually posted a video, uh, a picture on one of the uh, Facebook groups calling it the, uh, this girl's dirty. And she sure is, and I'll show you around the side. Uh, hopefully she'll be here for an hour or two. When the sun gets around, we'll get a better view from the water and I'll get some more shots then. But in the meantime, let's see what we can see Slightly backlit, we'll have a look. As you can see, she's filthy even in the shade. On it! It's absolutely just caked and stuff. I guess it's uh gene carrying gravel aggregate or something. Because it's filthy. Like I said, we'll get a better look at this later on when the sun comes around. I think she's going to be here for a few hours if I look at the, all the activity that's taking place right now. It's 
CSL Tadusak. Another mighty Great Lake vessel. This one is a beauty, just like the one up there behind us, Frontenac. Need to stay away from those lines, so I'm just gonna back up a little bit in case they ever snap. Those things snap, I've had it, so I'm just gonna move back a bit. I got a bit too close that time. There we go. Now, if that line was a lot looser, I would have got a lot closer, but I can see that line's got a lot of tension on it, so I don't want to get too close to it, because you just never know, right? Safety comes first. This is the CSL Taduzak here in Port Coburn on a clear, beautiful October day. And as you can tell, it is pretty dirty. At this very moment in time when I was actually filming this, I had no idea what she'd been carrying, but I guess we could guess. Uh, but uh, the, what she was carrying will become evident later on in the video because I actually do get to speak uh, briefly with a couple of the crew members. Uh, but she sat here in Port Coburn, the sun was shining from the east because it was early in the morning. And uh, so I had to get the drone up around the other side over the uh, the wharf here. And you can get a really good look of how dirty this vessel is. Um, I think I called it a dirty girl and that's basically what it is right now. She is just covered in stuff. <laughs> The construction of the ship uh, was, uh, commenced in 1968 when it had its keel laid and this was built at the Collingwood shipyard in Collingwood in Ontario and the boat was officially launched on the 29th of May in 1969 and it was actually originally named Tuduzak. The CSL Tuduzak is owned and operated by Canada Steamship Lines also known as CSL, which is a major shipping company which specializes in bulk cargo transportation on the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway. One of the most notable features of the CSL to Duzac is its self-unloading technology. This allows the vessel to efficiently unload its cargo without the need for external cranes or unloading facilities. A system of conveyor belts and booms aboard transfer the cargo from the holds to the shore. The CSL Tuduzak is a large vessel designed to maximize cargo volume while navigating the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway system. Its length allows it to transport significant quantities of bulk materials, helping industries such as steelmaking and energy production maintain their supply chains. The ship is robustly built to withstand the often harsh conditions of the Great Lakes, including heavy ice during winter storm months. The design is also optimized for the locks in the channels of the St. Lawrence Seaway. The overall length of the vessel is 223 meters, which is 738 feet, and she has a beam of 23 meters, which is 75 feet. And her actual gross tonnage is 20,101 tons. fascinating about the CSL to Duzac is how it bulges out on both sides like it's it's fat you don't really see it until you get right up to it 
is uh, it's different. Let's have a look. Now that we have the sun shining on it, I get a better look. It's like a fish with big gills. What's she carrying? It's so dirty. Uh, well, right now we got cement, but uh, there's a lot of cement in there, so we got to get it sucked off by marine clean. Oh, that's why there. Okay. All right. Thanks for that. Cement. So it has cement, or has had cement on it, and it's being cleaned out because it's still got some of it on. Hence why all the dust is all down the sides of it. So it's having a bit of a clean before it uh, sets sail again. So thanks for that information. Cheers guys, thanks. How you doing? This guy looks like he's living the dream. So now we know all that humming we've heard all day while being around here is being because they're sucking all the remnants out of the cement which is inside the holes here and cleaning it out before it can take another load of whatever it has to take. And of course you want to get cement out before it gets wet because otherwise you'll never get it out. So uh, I didn't realize they carried cement on that one. All right, from a very dirty uh, from a very dirty CSL to Duzak. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, stay safe. See you all very soon.